Decimals and percents can be thought of as two different ways of saying the same thing. Decimals can be thought of as fractions based on hundredths, and percent, or per cent, is just another way of saying per hundred. You might share with students that cent means hundred in Latin. So 50% equals 50 per 100, or 50 hundredths. And 5 tenths equals 50 hundredths, or 50 hundredths. Two common models can be used to help strengthen student understanding of the relationships between decimals and percents, circle graphs and decimal grids. Discuss with students that percents are often represented by circle graphs. Explain that circle graphs can be constructed by dividing a circle into 100 equally sized segments. Have students discuss similarities between this model and a decimal grid divided into 100 hundredths. Students can complete simple comparison activities using these two models such as shading equivalent percents and decimals on each model, or using multiple copies of each model to shade a variety of percents and decimals and comparing and ordering them. Show 40%. Write 40% as a decimal. Help strengthen student understanding of the relationships between percents and decimals by providing meaningful contexts and real-life examples in which comparisons can be made between percents and decimals. For example, discuss with students how on a 100-item quiz, a score of 85% represents getting 85 of the 100 questions correct. Although students may encounter the concept of percent often in their daily lives, they need to understand that it is usually necessary to convert percentages to decimals or fractions in order to perform operations. You can provide students with real-life examples, such as calculating waiters' tips or bank interest. These examples also stress the importance of conversion between percent and decimal. When students have developed a solid conceptual understanding of the relationships between decimals and percents, they can then be introduced to the traditional procedure for converting decimals and percents, moving the decimal point to places. If appropriate sense building has been developed, students will make fewer errors in the placement of the decimal point when converting decimals to percents and vice versa. For example, when converting 47% to a decimal, students can use reasoning to determine that since 47% is approximately 50%, this amount represented as a decimal would be written 0.47, not written 47.0 or 4.7. By using money, circle graphs, decimal grids, and connections to everyday language and activities, your students will be able to relate decimals to percents and use these concepts interchangeably.